So we were just talking about with the people that were here. This here, right, this here is called an arc. It's an arc PQ. Sorry, this is the arc. Right, that's the chord. So this is chord. This would be the minor arc. Right, and the major arc would be the big one around there. But we're not too worried about that for what we're doing here. So this is a proof. So proof that the angle subtended at the center, that's this one here. Right? So this angle in the middle here, I'll put it in purple, is double the angle at the circumference, that's this one here, right? if they're on the same arc, or it could be if they're on the same chord. Right? So they're basically, basically the same thing. All right. So the way we do the proof is we need to kind of know that what we're going to do is we're going to chop this in half. I'm going to chop that in half. Okay. And we're going to create an X and a Y up here. Okay. We'll create X and Y up here. So you guys are going to write this down as well, yeah? Okay. All right. So we're going to say, so now we're going to start. So that's the question. So we're going to say, if we make an X and a Y, we create something, right? We've got to tell them that's what we're doing. So I'm going to say, hey, let x equal to, what's this angle here? How do I do that? I say angle P R O. Or if you want, you could do O R P, but I usually like to go left to right, and then get P R O. P R O. So I've told them, hey, x is that. Cool. I do the same thing for y. And I'm actually going to go not left to right, I'm going to go Q R O, just so they kind of like. I don't know, like looks the same, pro, cro, like it looks nice, right? So far, so good? Okay. Now, we know that this is a radius and this is a radius, right? So what we're going to say is, how do I say the line from here to here? PO, and how do I say the line PO? Do you remember? Yeah, just chuck a line to it, right? Equals the line RO, right? Now, when I when I say make a statement in a proof, I've got to give some reasons. Why are they the same? Well, why is it given? Why is this line the same as this line? They're both radiuses, right? So I could say radius or radii because there's two of them. Or you could write they are both radiuses or something like that, right? Some kind of reason. So we know that this line is the same as this line. Am I going too fast or you're good? So if that one's the same as that line, I can say, hence, the triangle, P-R-O, triangle, E R O is isosceles. Do you agree? Now, because they're isosceles, if that's x, then this must be x. Cool. So now I can write R P O R P O the angle equals P R O R O equals X. And rather than say because they're isosceles, there is a there is a trick, a little um, symbol that I can do that. I just literally draw an isosceles triangle. That's the reason. So you could comma reason. The reason that these are the same is because it's an isosceles triangle. And the isosceles triangle rule states that the angles are the same and the sides are the same. Right? Of the same size, not the random one. So now I've got x. Okay? So I've got that x, I've got that x. And then lastly, because I know there's three, 360 degrees, because I know there's 180 degrees in a triangle, I can say that this one here, I'm kind of running out of colors, so I wish I had green. I've got a black one. Yeah, okay. All right. So this one here, right? is 180 minus x minus x, which is minus 2x. So this is a good black pen, Jacob. All right. So how do I write that? Well, I'm going to say angle, P-O-R, 
Đấy. And in R equals one eighty minus x minus x comma. How would I? What's the rule for that? You could write if you want one hundred and eighty degrees in a triangle. Or there's a symbol. What do you reckon it looks like? How would you show the one hundred and eighty degrees in a triangle? Right, that's the 180 degrees. But if you don't know the symbol, right, you can just write 180 degrees in triangle. Or if you're not sure if that's a symbol, right, you could write here isosceles. Like, you can write, you can write the reason, but mathematicians like symbols and it's short. Right? So we'll learn about the symbols more later. So, and notice as I'm doing the proof, I'm chucking in here because it's helping me. Yeah? Now, I'm going to do the same thing do you guys mind if I keep going? We've got like two more minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing for here. So I'm going to do this in a different color. Right? So I'm going to go blue. I'm going to do this a bit quicker now. So I'm going to say, hey, QO is the same as RO. So QO and RO. QO is the same as RO. Same reason. They're both radiuses. And hence, QRO. And do you see why now I'm doing, I did those letters in the same order? I'm kind of copying and pasting that, but I'm just changing the P with Q, right? Is isosceles. And here I'm going to just draw isosceles triangle. And I'll go right isosceles. So therefore, right, this angle, QRO, is the same as the angle. Yeah. Right. Uh, QO. And these are both equal to Y. And I chuck that Y in. Is that cool? Yeah. Reason. Now, that means that this guy in the middle. What's that? Q O R angle Q O R is equal to 180. I'm just going to put straight it in to minus 2Y, okay? Because 180 degrees in a triangle. So almost there, guys. So that's 180 minus 2Y. Cool. Now we want to find out this one here, this, this big one there. We're going to say, right, that P. OQ, hopefully this is still done with the video there. Yep. We're going to say that angle POQ is equal to what? What is it, guys? Yeah, but instead of calling it W, let's just go straight to it. I know we did that before. But POQ is going to be 360 minus 180 minus 2X and also minus 180 minus 2Y. Is that okay? 180 minus 2x, whoops, and minus 180 minus 2y. Is that okay? So let's just simplify that out a bit. I've got 360 minus 180 plus 2x minus 180 plus 2y. 360 minus 180 minus 180, I end up with 2x plus 2y. Guess what? That's double. So I'm actually going to show, because my goal is to show this double. So I'm going to factorize that. Boom. Right? So therefore I can say, hence, or therefore, therefore, the angle PRQ, right, which is x plus y, is equal to, let's just put a quick thing, actually, let's, let's take out the therefore. Angle PRQ is equal to x plus y. Cool. The angle P 
POQ is equal to 2x plus y. That way you're kind of like recapping what you've just proved. And your goal is to prove that that is double that. So you can say, therefore, POQ is equal to 2 PRQ. Angle POQ is equal to 2 angle PRQ. That's what you needed. So QED, if you remember, means the end of the proof. Oh, right, let's see if that worked.